Hey guys, welcome back to Galley Gourmet. Here we are inside the galley. Today, I'm gonna have date night. I just got off the phone with my husband. He's finishing up at work and he's gonna come over here. I'm gonna make a salmon dip that we're gonna enjoy on the bow later on. And then I'm gonna make a lobster pasta with a little bit of a twist, but it's just gonna be a little fancy, but really sweet, really yummy. It's gonna be delicious. So let's get started on the omelet. All right, let's get started on the salmon dip. We're gonna start with one room temperature cream cheese. Now I'm using a small food processor here, so you might have to break it up. If you have a larger one, you're not gonna have to worry about it. And now to this, I wanna add some lemon. I'm only gonna need a half a lemon. This one's pretty juicy. Now to this, we're gonna add some red onion. And what we wanna do, add some half and half, just to kind of loosen it up. So it's not gonna be very much, a couple tablespoons. And we'll want to get this a little head start. Add a little orange shirt. Some hot sauce. Okay, a lot of hot sauce. We like it hot. We like spicy. Some capers. Now, we're going to serve this on crackers, but this is also something, like when you have bagels and locks, pick this up and put it on your bagels. We're going to give that another little swirl. Got some beautiful little smoked salmon here. And we're just gonna kinda roughly dice this up. Even though it's going in the food processor, we wanna kind of keep it a little chunky. So you wanna put this in at the very last. And that's it. Now we're gonna plate this. Little drizzle of finishing oil. And some green onions. Now we're gonna set this up. And there you have it, salmon dip. I'm getting ready to head to the bow of the boat and wait for my husband. Cheers. Cheers. Well, Wendy out. I'm telling you, I wonder if they're gonna serve salmon dip in Kansas City. Any <laughs> M, any M. Look out. <laughs> Would you like me to serve you some? What? <laughs> Would you like me to serve you some? Quickly. <laughs> Can you hear me? Quickly, before the wind takes it away. <laughs> oh, my word. There you go, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, that salmon dip was really good. Now let's get rolling on this lobster pasta. So to start with the lobster, we're going to dice up some shallots. You know, I love date nights. It doesn't necessarily mean having to go out to a restaurant. It's just, just time for us. We entertain so much and it's just nice to be able to be on the boat, enjoying each other's company very little noise. Don't you ever feel like that? Like you just need time alone? So we got these shallots that we're slicing up here and we're gonna go ahead and add this to our pan. We're gonna let that saute just a little bit, make them nice and little soft. And we're gonna start with our lobster here. Some people are a little intimidated with lobster. It's really not that difficult. If you have a nice pair of kitchen shears, you're just gonna go right on the top and cut straight down. Watch your fingers on the spiny parts. That could be not so fun, but you're just gonna cut right down, pull it apart. And you're gonna take your fingers on the back side and then just pull it up. Now at this point, this is where, if you're having lobster tails, you can leave it out like this, season your lobster. You can grill it or you can put it in the oven or you can put it in the pan, just like this, but we're not doing that. We're gonna just take it straight out of the shell just like that. Now I'm gonna save these shells, put them in the freezer, and then I'll make some sock later on. But today, because I just figured out it's date night, I don't have time to make the sauce, so I'm cheating today. And now I'm just gonna season this with some salt and pepper. I've already got some butter melted. I'm gonna add some garlic, and I'm gonna slice some lemon. One whole lemon. Now we're gonna take our lobster. We're just gonna we call butter poach the lobster. And stick it right on in. Uh, going for a little swim back in the ocean. This is the flavorful ocean. Check on our onions. Looking beautiful. Now to this, I'm gonna add some garlic to the onions. Smash, smash. Oh, get the aggression out. You know, after being together for 23 years. It's amazing that we're still together. 
but that's why I feel date nights are important. Because it just reconnects you. And for us, date night is being on board on Diamo. We don't have to mingle or meet anybody because every time it seems like we go out, we live in a small area and you always end up knowing somebody and then you get into a conversation and then you get lost in what the whole purpose of a date night is. So it's kind of nice that we can just be here alone together, talk about the week, talk about the days, what's going to happen the following week. All right, so I got two cloves of garlic that's going in. And to that I want to add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. I've got my water boiling, salted water. Make sure you salt your water. We're gonna go ahead and add about a pound of pasta right into the water. I'm gonna give our lobster a little turn. You can see where it's starting to curl so we know that it, they're loving their little sauna bath. Now we're gonna add some cherry tomatoes. I like using the multicolored ones. It just makes the dish a little bit brighter. You can slice these in half if you would like, or you just throw them in whole. Today, I'm gonna throw them in whole. So that goes right with the garlic and onions. So this, I'm gonna add some more olive oil and give that a little toss. Get our pasta, a little stir. Okay, now I have some actual lobster claws that I had bought that was already shelled out. So I'm gonna add this. We don't have to cook this, it's already cooked, well, steamed. I just want to kind of get this through. And now I want to add some capers. That is stir. Look beautiful. Look at those colors. Just amazing. Oh, that's so fun. All right, he's going to get to you. Okay, let's take the lobster out. Like little wheels. Now I just emptied some of the butter out. Now to that pan, with the flavorfulness of the butter, I have a pre-bought lobster bisque. This makes a gorgeous sauce once you start mixing everything together. This is one of my favorite brands. Really good for a quick bisque. You can also go to your local fish market or your favorite restaurant that actually has uh, lobster bisque and you can buy a couple of jars of that and just keep it in on hand for you. So we're just gonna pour that right in here. And we just want to get that a good stir. And again, this is pretty cooked, so we don't. We're just going to get it through, warm it up. So it looks like the pasta is done. So let me show you how I'm going to take this. I'm going to take some of the bisque. We're going to put it right down the plate. You don't want a whole lot because we're going to put the pasta inside. Perfect. Just gonna take the pasta, swing ways. I'm just gonna give that a light toss. And now it's time to plate the pasta. This is a nice little restaurant truck. Just to make it pretty. And now we take our lobster mixture. I'm just gonna roll it on the plate a little bit. And then we take our beautiful lobster right on top. And for some more color, just a little terracotta right on top. There you have it, lobster pasta. My husband should be outside and ready to eat. Hi, honey. I think lobster pasta tonight for date night. There you go. Looks great. Been a hard day. I can't wait to get into this. Oh. You were working hard. I was working hard. Where do you start? My God, this is unbelievable.